this video I'm going to show you how to tighten a photo mosaic preset, how to load your own tiling photos, how to add detail and edging in image operations, and finally how to save your new preset to your favorites folder. Mosaic presets are found in the paint synthesizer mode under the auto paint collection. There are several types of mosaic preset categories. For this training video series we are going to look at the photo mosaic presets and how to edit them. I'm going to pick this first preset and let it run. This is not ideal for this particular source image, so we will make the tiles smaller to bring in more detail. And then I'm going to change the folder of tile images to cat images. This particular preset also colorizes the image tiles, and we will talk more about that later in this series of training videos on mosaics. So to make the tiles smaller and to add more detail, I will toggle to the editor and choose Path Start. All the mosaic regionizer algorithms reside in the Path Start control panel. Anything with regionize in the name can potentially create photo mosaics with a few additional settings. Since we started with a photo mosaic preset, those settings are already in place. So I'm going to make the max stroke smaller here and also make the minimum region size a smaller number as well as the horizontal and vertical tiles. These are the main settings you can play around with for your images. Each source image is different, so you may need to tweak the presets to get your desired results. So now let's see if that's better. I think I will tighten this a little bit more. And now take a look. I like that, but I don't want to use these images on my particular cat source image, so I'm going to point to a new folder of cat images instead by choosing File, Paint Synthesizer, New Image Folder Brush, and then choose a cat image folder I made. Now I will try it again by pressing the Action button. Please note that you should keep your tile images below 500 by 500 pixels as a general rule. The larger the tile images, the slower Studio Artist will run, and you generally will not need the larger images for tiling. You can also manually touch up your mosaics. This preset is set to squares, but if you toggle to pen mode, you can see that there are several other shapes available for you to use as well. So now this is pretty good, but I want to add even more detail. One way I can do that is to bring a little bit of the source image in, using image operations, and then by choosing the utility presets, and then choosing a source image preset. Next I want to add some edging, so I will go to the edging category on image operation presets and choose an edging preset. You can of course make a paint action sequence preset of the three presets we just used, but instead I am just going to save the mosaic paint preset I just edited in my favorites by holding down the control key on Mac, or on Windows this would be a right click, and then clicking in the preset window. And now I will save this preset to my favorites. In the next video in this series on mosaics, we will talk about how to colorize your tile images for photo mosaics.